Dr. Kara Cooney has come upon an inscription at Deir el-Bari that may tell us something about the personal life of the pharaoh Hatshepsut. Uh, we have these two inscriptions. Well, these are long inscriptions. What do we have? The inscriptions seem to confirm that Hatshepsut and Senenmut were lovers. You read? So, his servant in the place of her heart. Yes. Making, who make eating. Who makes the pleasures all pleasure of the, the Lord of the... Who the, makes the, the pleasure to the Lord of the, the, of the, the, Lord of the two the, lands. Exactly. Uh, so he's working for her pleasure. It was common for inferiors to express adoration for their king on tomb walls. But these inscriptions read more like love letters. Well, I've been on the fence the whole time about whether or not Hatshepsut and Senemut were lovers. And having talked with the Spanish team, I'm actually starting to believe more and more that this could be true. So I'm starting to be more and more convinced that this relationship is not only strange and unprecedented, but it may have been much closer than I thought. The tomb also has a darker side to reveal. We have a, a little secret for you. Yes? Yes. I want to see your little secret. Yes. Yeah. Come with me. Tucked away in the corner of the tomb, says Valentin, is one of the few representations of Senenmut and Hatshepsut together. It has been defaced. The head of these people is destroyed. Yes, we actually have heads being destroyed. Why? Why, exactly. Somebody don't like this. Don't like who? They don't like who? Senenmut? Yes, maybe it's Hatshepsut. This is destroyed? Exactly, in my opinion, yes. Purposefully, on, yes, on yes, purpose? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. The defaced pictures suggest a motive for Hatshepsut's disappearance from Egyptian history. It may have been because of an unseemly relationship with the commoner Senenmut. Perhaps moral outrage was a motive. Back in the lab in Cairo, more CAT scan data is coming in. 